Hello and welcome back to well, Subnautica Below Zero. Well, yeah. So today, what I wanted just to do to start off with is I want to build sort of like a kitchen uh, room, sort of, really, kind of. But I think I'm gonna build it behind this storage room here. So what I want to start building is like some of these planters. So I'm going to start off with the exterior ones because they're going to be ones I definitely want to start with. So for a foundation, which I think I'm going to grab two um, of. So I'm going to need four lead and four titanium. So one, two, three, four. And I'm pretty sure the lead is here. Yep. One, two, three, four. Okay. Uh, and what do we need for the actual uh, thingies themselves? We need titanium. So I'm going to grab probably 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, so 3, uh, it costs 2, yeah. So grab th uh, 3 of those and then, yeah, that should be fine. So, so the exterior, where do I want to put that then? I um, don't want to put it down there, that's sort of like nowhere basically. I think here would be quite a nice location, like just this little small area here. So, if I was then to add a foundation, uh, probably quite low to the ground, so like this, like that, okay, uh, oh, it adds foundation, oh, right, okay, that adds, uh, hole strength, I thought I'd take it away, to be honest, especially with them going that far down, but anyway, uh, We've got a exterior grow bed, so that's what we're going to put on these. So I'm going to start off with one there, I reckon. The grow bed lets you grow plants and vegetables, providing flavorful options for evading scurvy. Scurvy. Oh, it's funny how like cause that's probably the last thing on the uh, Robin, which is the main character's name in this game. Uh, mind really. Um, and put another one there. Okay, so what I want to grab is some more oxygen because that will be handy. Welcome aboard, Captain. So, uh, actually, I think I'm gonna have to sleep quickly as well because I think it'd be just good to do that uh, since it is night and I do want it to be day. So I need to grab some creep vine samples um, and like a bunch of uh, sea plants really is what I need to grab. So what I'm going to grab first quickly though is some new batteries for like everything basically. So we're going to need a new battery for the thingy mabobber, the scanner, the repair tool and the habitat builder. Uh, so one, two, three, we're going to grab that battery and we'll do that. Uh, and then we'll load that one probably into the sea, not sea moth, uh, that's main sea moth, the sea glide. Uh, I'm just looking if I have anything in here, it doesn't seem to look like it. Yeah, I'm going to drink some reclaimed water quickly, because I definitely need to drink that, because otherwise that isn't going to be very good. Uh, I need to go grab a bunch of ribbon plants, so, uh, I'll hop in the sea truck I reckon actually. Uh, I think there's something that I'll probably hop into. Right, so over, I think, in that direction, there is sort of like a little planter area. Oh, uh, with ribbon plants. There's ribbon plants down here, which I'm going to grab. Uh, this area is basically entirely safe, so, yeah. Red wall, uh, I can't actually scan it, but I can grab some red wood seeds. That's definitely going to be okay. I don't actually know what I get out of it, but you know. Uh, by the way, that roaring is the, um... Oh, squid sharks. Um, like, below... Like, all the way down there, basically. Uh, like, 400 meters down, I think. Um, but then I'm not entirely sure. So, I'm looking for a small like outpost like planter pot thingy okay anyway so just here is uh, where loads of ribbon plants are here we go so ribbon plants uh, I can't actually scan them which is fine but still 
If I was hitting on a knife, do I get seeds? Indeed I do, so I'm going to grab a ton of them. Because I definitely want room plant, that should be enough. And I'll grab just the rest of them. But I guess that'll be fine. Uh, there's a supply crate with water in it, actually that's going to be quite handy. Uh, I'm pretty sure I've scanned everything there anyway. Okay, that's fine. Uh, oh, there's a side, side to, to, oh no, that's ah, gone. Gonna load back in? No? Okay. Oh, no, there it is. Okay, anyway. Time to head back to the sea base, which actually now comes up uh, on the thing now. So I think I can get rid of the camera from the menu thing. There we go. So, what we need to, what I need to do is I need to plant some of these uh, red wall and ribbon plants that I have. So, planter, here we go. So we have some ribbon plant seeds. So we're going to literally fill it basically to the brim. Uh, I can use them. So I'll use them. Why not? Uh, I don't know if I can take them out. No, I can't. I can, might as well just fill it to the brim then. So they're going to be ribbon plants. Uh, this one can be red warp. And actually, speaking of that, I'm going to go grab a little bit more red warp. I'm going to use all those up. Very nice. Um, I don't actually need the rest of these. So, yeah. Uh, anyway, I need some more ribbon plant seeds. So I'm going to go grab a couple more of them. So until this thing is completely full, I literally have the perfect amount, so I'll grab the rest of these. Uh, maybe I won't actually, because it's not filled to the brim now. Because you still have to replant like all of them basically. Uh, oh, it tells you the progress as well, that's quite good. Uh, anyway, we're going to fill those with the plant seeds. Uh, what room will we plant? We can get one, two, and up. Oh. And then we'll do that and that. Okay. That's good. So I need to head up here now. Uh, I need to grab some copper from here so I can create some new batteries for everything. Uh, actually, I might have some in. Not there, but here. Uh, I have quite a few actually. Uh, I can't charge that one really at the moment, but I do need three, so that's good. So that can go in there, that can go in there, and that can go in there. Nice, I'm actually organized. Um, but these red wall seeds, uh, that can go into the bioreactor, which is just down here. So, what have we got in here at the moment? Not a huge amount. Um, they're still full. Uh, we can put the red wall seeds in there for now. But I need to. I'm going to put the ribbon pants away then. For now. Uh, and I'm going to go grab some. Uh, what's it called? Creep vine. That's it, creep vine. Time to hop out, and I'm going to start planting this if I can. Indeed, I can. Nice. Uh, I'm just going to eat the rest because why not eat some seaweed, basically. But how are the ribbon plants coming on? 57, 58, red war. Mm, that's fine. But also, this is going to be good for powering the bioreactor because then I'll basically just have endless stuff to actually power it. Uh, and then I'll basically just never run out of space for it. Now, we're going to build the inside planter room now. So, if I grab this stuff, I'm going to head over to the large room. Because I built this wall portion here. And it's for this huge room in here. So what I'm thinking in this space here, I want to build an alien containment. Uh... So I need to kind of leave room for that. Actually, you know what? Uh, give me a sec. I'm gonna go find out where the alien containment is, if it's in a data box. That is. Uh, okay. So I just had a look at where it is, and guess what? It's past loads of squid sharks. Yeah. Uh, no, I'm gonna get it though because I do need it. Well, I don't need it, but I want it. So we need to have to take basically everything I can for this because I don't want it to go wrong. So, come here, sea truck. We need you 100%. Uh, it's generally not exactly the hardest thing to get to because squid sharks don't grab onto your sea truck or prawn suit. And I have the primitive defense system, so it won't exactly be the hardest thing in the world. But I just, it's just annoying completely, really. Like, it's just kind of annoying. 
Uh, but anyway, uh, I'm I'm also I think we need to go to a part of the Mercury Two. Uh, so the part of location, so the actual Mercury Two is like there, and we need to go to a section of it that's like just there. Uh, and, we, and we could go around the Delta Island like that way, but that's past the Vent Garden, Solicitor, tons of Solicitors, uh, tons of Solicitors, and the side toes such as, um, and like Squid Sharks. So I prefer just going past the side toes such as and Squid Sharks rather than going up with the also a Solicitor because they grab onto your sea truck and prawn suit and they just basically try and shove you into their mouth. Um, and I will come across them at one point because I just need to for content, you know. <laughs> Gotta show you what they are at some point. Um, but that's not gonna be right now, hopefully. But anyway, I'm gonna grab the prawn suit. Uh, and I need to head out of here, so if I just quickly get you to max health. Like, I don't need the prawn suit, really. I'm gonna take it, just in case. Um, because I'd rather be there safe than sorry, to be honest. Like, if, you, if I the prawn suit get or if the sea truck gets destroyed, at least I have uh, a backup thing if I need to escape. There's a very low chance the sea truck does get destroyed, uh, to be completely honest. It's almost impossible, really, especially with me having permitted defense upgrade. But still, so we need to head to the Delta Station dock, and then I should know where I'm going from there. Okay, so we're just coming up in it now. I haven't seen a side to such as yet, which is good. That's good signs. Good, good signs. So I think, yeah, just here. Here we go. This is where we want to be. So we're looking. Captain, bow of an astronautical salt transfer vessel nearby. Vessel name Mercury Two. Come on, PDA. Inoperative. PDA, you just said that like four times now. Come on. Right, uh, I'm looking for any squid sharks because they will swallow me whole. That's something about squid sharks. They don't, they can't latch onto your sea truck or prawn suit, but they will swallow you whole. Okay, so the, I'm gonna have to explore this like the Mercury 2 over there, Mercury 2 fragment over there, which is okay because now I have the high capacity oxygen tank, so that's gonna be a lot handy. Uh, uh, if that makes sense. Well, it's gonna be a lot better. So it's a bunch of these. Which I might as well scan while I'm in here. Uh, there's nothing saying that I shouldn't scan them. Uh, did I bring my laser cutter? I usually do, don't I? Uh, yes, I did. Good, an Azure battery. So, in here. Ooh, nuclear reactor, yes! Oh, that's really, that's, that's really, really good. Uh, do we need more than one? Data spraying actuary. Uh, all sealed. Uh, right, one sec. Yes, we got it! Oh, nice! So, it should give me the reactor rod. Uh, uh, thingy. Uh, oh no, that's the reactor rod. So we have two reactor rods now for the nuclear reactor. So that's Mercury 2 PDA. You might as well grab it. Uh, there's no reason not to, like I keep saying. Uh, we've got a bunch of metal salvage, uh, which apparently I can scan. Uh, okay. Scattered wreckage. It's just a data bank entry, I reckon. Uh, right, so I need to head up. I'm looking for oxygen planks as well while I'm here because I do need them, like, pretty badly. That's an entrance. Probably for a squid shark to get in. Uh, there's this, which I'm going to cut open access to, and then I need to head back to my Z truck. Synthetic fibers, they take ruby. That's not bad. Uh, and spiral plant clippings as well, so... You know, not just ruby. Like, if it was just ruby, then it wouldn't exactly be the hardest thing to get in the world. But, you know... Uh, I'm gonna head out back to the C trucky work. Truck, 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 truck. Grab my oxygen back. Have I got anything in empty? Oh no, oh, no, no, it's empty. Empty, uh, empty and empty. Okay, they're all empty. That's fine. But I don't know if there's any squid sharks. I haven't seen any. So yeah, I'm not complaining. Like I just, I am not complaining. I'd rather see none. But we're heading in here now, so we've got another one which is not sealed, but has a wiring kit. Not the worst thing in the world, and a power cell, also not the worst thing in the world. But I don't think there's anything else in there. Over here, is this a sealed door? I oh, it is. Right, okay, it's going to be good to go open it. Um, the only thing is, I don't know if there's any oxygen plants in this one. If there isn't, that's going to be really bad. Because whenever I open these sealed doors, um, I'm going to waste loads of oxygen just opening them. So I hope there's an oxygen plant in here because that will be really good. 
Oh, that's a big, big area. Hopefully it's not squid shark in here that's spawned by accident. Because I saw I watched a YouTube video and that actually happened. Uh, oh, alien containment. Here we go. Alien containment. Nice. I actually don't know how I got it before because I don't. I don't think I ever went in here. It's a vent. I reckon that'll probably be to a fragment of the um, like parallel processing unit. I reckon. Because generally, I don't think actually. Oh, there is an oxygen plant in here. Nice. I also saw a door which does require to cut access. Hopefully, I have enough power on this. Oh no, I definitely don't. Uh, Right, um, I'll unload you, and load you into there. And hopefully by the time I've looked in this room and grabbed whatever is in there, it sh I should uh, be able to, the auction plant should have replenished, and I should be able to get back from perfectly fine, so... Uh, wait a minute. Oh no, this is like, sort of like a main room. Well, there is an auction plant here, so I'm going to grab it. There's also a bunch of these which I'm going to cut up in access to. Reactor rod as another one. I'm pretty sure you can craft those with uranite. And another reactor rod. That is a drill arm I think. Indeed it is. Uh, I need to head back and I'll head back uh, in here in a sec because I actually need to replenish my oxygen. So this is probably another way to get the prawn soup I reckon. Uh, I just think this is a, like the way I went was in a lot easier way. It's a lot closer than this. You don't have to go far. You don't. It's just generally uh, better. And also, I'm going to scan this because I still haven't yet, and I probably should. So. Very nice. I'll grab some oxygen from it as well while I'm there. Uh, that is a entrance for a squid shark. So yeah, no thanks. Uh, anything in here apart from a lot of metal salvage? And actually, I think I am going to grab it uh, because. I think I do need a little bit more titanium. There's another PDO. Di Diana. Uh, I definitely don't need those. It's a supply crate with a battery in it, and that's going to be handy. I need to try not to get lost in here. Um, doesn't look like there's anything in there. It does look like there could be something in here. Okay, now I need to head back now. I've only got 80 oxygen left. Uh, through the door, please. And... Into... The sea truck! Okay, that went a lot better than I thought when I anticipated. I thought there'd be tons of squid sharks, tons of uh, leviathans just constantly wanting to be after me. Uh, I thought that would have been a lot worse to be like... I thought it would. Uh, anyway, now I can head uh, over here. Hopefully not running into any leviathans because that won't be nice. Um, I could have headed over there, but that would have taken me directly on a path to the uh, vent garden. And along with that, the... Oh, look, there's a juvenile. Just a... Uh, that's what I was going on before. Like, that's like, a small version of one. Uh, and they're pretty big. Oh, you see what I mean? They're like kind of the size of a glow whale. If I can get one in the picture with it. Well, not really, but still. Um, I'm going to head back now. So, oh, look at that uh, creep vine. That's grown quite well, actually, while I've not been there. Wow, look at that. Look at it. Wow. Uh, what percent is it, or is it completely done? I think it is done, uh, actually. Um, it does look to be done. I think the red bolt is also done. The ribbon plants are done. Yeah, so now she probably should scan these as well because I still haven't. And like I said, I, I just need to. But anyway, before I do go, I will go in the base. Actually, not go. Uh, I need to grab a couple fish. Uh, since uh, I do need some food and waters, so. We can now build this. Oh wow, that's bright. Um, but we can now build the planter room thingy, Mabobba. So, uh, what's in here? Electronics. Oh, reactor rod. There we go. And that's why I would need uh, uranite crystals for the reactor rod. So I can, I can, not couldn't. 
I can now make that. There we go, nuclear reactor, which is pretty cheap actually. Uh, but alien containment, that is a lot of glass. Good thing I believe in the prawn suit, I should have everything I need. So, because I don't think I took out any of the quartz out of there. So I need 10 quartz open storage. There we go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I literally have one spare. Isn't great. Anyway, uh, we're going to head up here. To here, the fabricator. So I'm going to make titanium staff with. Uh, and then put it into the... Uh, chest, chest, chest. Why am I calling it chest? Uh, the lockers. Make two filtered water. I'm gonna make some cooked paper. Very nice. Why is that like light just blipping on and off? Like, what's up with that? Uh, anyway, we're gonna have a sip and a sip, and we're gonna have a munch and a munch, and then. You know what, I'm going to build a fridge in here first, quickly. Uh, what do we need for a fridge? Probably not a lot, really, do we? Just probably titanium. Uh, fridge. Uh, oh, we need some glass. Right, I'm going to grab one more quartz, quickly. Uh, and now I'm going to make a lot of glass now. So there's one. There's two. Right, that's glass, there we go. Okay. So I haven't put the titanium away, so I still have it on me. So I did here. Then I'll be able to make a fridge. Yes, the best thing in this game, obviously, is the fridge because you know the fridge is just the best thing. And we cannot put the habitat builder in there because we don't need that in there. But the uh, cooked peeper uh, that can go in there as it'll be fine in there. Uh, I do have everything for the alien containment. Uh, looks like it's going there by the looks of things. Oh, and also I just realised I need another piece of quartz for a uh, hatch to enter it as well. An aquarium just for looks, or your own personal sushi factory. Oh, you decide. <gasps> oh, that is actually really cool. Look at that; it's like fully gone all the way round. And also, why are my frames just gone? Hello, you gonna come back? No. Okay. Look at that. That is so good. Oh wow, that is actually really good. I thought I didn't realise it would do that in the large room. That is so good. Uh, anyway, I'm going to grab another piece of quartz so that I can actually enter it, and then I'm going to grab probably a couple eggs that I had spare, so that I can put some animals in there. I need to now build a hatch on this thing. I don't. I still can't get how like cool this thing is. How it's like multiple layers. Can you put one at the end? Of course you can. Perfect. Uh, no, actually, I think if I head in there, for a start I can swim around in it. But, yeah, there are planters in here, so I can actually plant, like, coral and stuff. So, and I have li literally a farms for this. Uh, so, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hop down into my farm. Nice. So, what I'm going to grab is I'm going to grab a bunch of creep vine. Just to make an entire, like, forest out of it, really. Inventory full. Oh yeah, I forgot. It literally takes up too much. Okay. Alright, we'll head up and across. And then I'll head all the way around because I built it in the back for some reason. Uh, and I think I'm going to build it just here, I reckon. Uh, I need two more of those by the looks of things, uh, and you can actually see the seeds. Yeah, and also I think they just plant it all the way around the place actually. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, uh, yeah, that's literally for everything and I can't take it out. Well, looks like that's staying in there forever then. Um, <laughs> oh no. Uh, well, looks like that's going to be... Uh, in there forever until I go in there and remove it by the looks of things. Uh, I'm going to use red warm as well. So, one, two. Because I'm pretty sure, yeah, that takes up um, that amount of space. Uh, but I'll head over here once again and then add the red warts in. Uh, and, then I'm gonna, and then I've got two eggs to add in, I reckon. Uh, I think I have. Uh, yeah, but look, that's like the tiny one. 
and then they should grow, and then that'll be fine. But I do have two eggs currently, I think, that I have to use. So if I head back down into the moon pool, uh, in here there should be in this one, this one, yep. Yeah. So we have a whatever that creature egg is, and then a rock puncher egg, I think that is. Uh, I'm just going to check down by the bioreactor if we have any eggs. We've got, we've got a clone. And we have a bunch of those in there. Uh, that's fine. So, I'm going to dump the eggs in there. Because then they will hatch. So, whatever, the, whatever that egg is. And over here, we're going to put down the rock puncher egg. Very nice. Um... Yeah, and they should just grow themselves. But what I want to grab, uh, hopefully, is some more such, such as eggs. It doesn't look like there's anything else in here. The diamond vein there has respawned. But if you haven't told, if you can't tell already, I really don't need diamonds at all. Uh, any in here? Well, it looks, seems, doesn't seem like it. So, head down. I just want to double check this data box because generally, it, it, I don't know if it randomizes uh, moon pool. No, it doesn't randomize then. Okay, that's fine. Right. So, heading down. That titanium is respawned, so that is a good, good sign. Over here, oh, everything here is respawned. Okay, before those ones hadn't actually respawned. That's, that's good. Uh, I can't remember if I need a bit more gold. I might have grab it. Uh, anyway. Okay. Uh, and also, you may be wondering why I'm like showing uh, what's actually what I'm doing over here. Um, kind of because I just want to really. Oh, that's where you get this kind of room from. Hmm. Okay. I was wondering where I got like half the stuff that I got from. Uh, but anyway, I got the jump to upgrade from this like upgrade perch in here. And also, what are you doing? Do you mind? Like, this is a bit close for comfort, I'm afraid. Right, I'm going to give you two seconds to move out of the way. One. Two. Okay, fine. You need to kind of move. I'll let you off with that. Well, actually, maybe not. Actually, maybe. Okay, maybe. No, I say it dead. I actually feel kind of sad for it, but anyway. Uh, I got the jump jet upgrade from there. So now I have a second one for a second prawn suit if for some reason I want to make that. Uh, but anyway, I want to head down here a little bit more to the main uh, areas or oh, area and indeed it has respawned this guy's respawned he's also now dead again because I always kill him I kind of bully him uh, yeah time to grab this as well then Okay, so now that's mined up, uh, that's all good, sorry whatever fish that was, um, there's some more gold there, I don't actually think I need any more, I probably need to grab a bit more copper because I do know I'm starting to run a little bit low on that, uh, so I'm going to grab a little bit more copper and then I'm going to get out of here because I don't want to spend too long in here because this is ev I have to do this every single time I go down here. So I'm now back at the base, uh, which is good. So now we can actually start building the stuff that I was supposed to do like ages ago. So that is upgrades, not storage. Okay. Um, why am I looking in here when I literally have a full inventory? What am I doing? Okay, uh, I'm gonna unload specifically. Unload, not get rid, but unload. Um, all of that stuff. I'm gonna stop out the. Full health battery with a dead one. Yeah, that'll be fine. Uh, and I'm gonna unload yeah, all of this stuff that I've got from the mining trip. So in this one uh, is copper. I actually did need a lot of that, actually. Uh, they're pretty sure this one's gold. Uh, I didn't really need it. Like, at all. Uh, I'm pretty sure this was silver. I definitely needed that. And now I have 
tons of it, which is going to be really helpful. Uh, I have some titanium. I have a wiring kit. I have two power cells, three more reactor rods. Um, yeah, I suppose I put that battery in there. And then here I put the synthetic fibers, uh, and in there I'll put the jump to upgrade. Now I'm going to go grab the rest of the stuff from the prawn suit. Um, crayfish egg discover. Oh, it'd be a crayfish then. Oh, wait, crash fish. Wait, crash fish. What did that just say? Wait a minute. That's a crash fish. Excuse me. Oh wow, that's actually looking quite good now. Uh, oh, I see it in there. You see it? Oh, there it is. There it is. Crash fish. Right, let me scan you because I still need to. Crush fish. Um, nope, oh, where's it gone? It's tiny. Uh, how much are the red walls? Oh, they're done. That's nice. Uh, wait, I need to go in there and put down the sides of the second. And hopefully, I don't think they eat each other. Hopefully not. But waiting for the rock bunch egg and the side of the second now. Uh, which is good. I'm probably going to grab a bite to eat from the fridge, as you do. Nice. The fridge. I feel like I'm gonna just, like store loads of stuff in that fridge now. Uh, why am I in here? I don't need to be in here. Uh, I need to dump all of this copper, which I actually did need. So there's that, and then that. Okay. So I need to start building these indoor planters now. So uh, I'm gonna start with the. I think this one. So the indoor grow bed, four titanium. So we're going to put that in each corner. So we're going to need 16 titanium. Uh, that is almost every single bit of titanium. Oh, how big are they actually for a start? I don't think I put them in that corner because I could put some other stuff there. But that is literally almost all the titanium that I have. So that isn't great. Um, yeah, I will put them in each corner, actually. That would be... All, right. All but one corner, which is done with the fridge in it. Oh, that corner. So that's... And then... It will be... That. And then also off camera, I'll go grab more titanium from the mining site. Uh, I didn't realise that I was actually quite low on it. Uh, so I will grab that stuff. I'm going to have a coffee machine. Because, you know, everyone wants a coffee machine in their life. The sweet scent of dirty bean water. Dirty bean water. Uh, really? Come on. That's just. No. Uh, anyway. Um, no, it's a chick plant pot actually. Maybe. Now we go with the basic one. We'll do one there and then one there. Maybe not because I'm out of titanium. Uh, wait, how much titanium do you need for the nuclear reactor, actually? Uh, none. Really? Oh, no, you need a titanium ingot. Oh, wait, I have that. Oh. Okay. Well, that's easy enough. Uh, just... Oh, well, okay. I got pretty lucky there. Uh, so, we're going to go to the composite plant. Oh, actually, no, we're just going to do that. Right then. So... Uh, I have all of these seeds in here, so we have some Chinese potatoes which are currently rotten, but we won't talk about that. So for these two, we're going to add Chinese potatoes in. Very nice. So there, they they'll start growing pretty soon. I don't know if they need water. No, that's something that I'm not too sure about. Um, with a small rotten marble melon, I'll probably grab both those. Uh, and we're going to plant those into here to start off with. We'll, we'll just add them both in. And I think if I was to just to cut it... Oh, that was a screenshot. Not crouching. I forgot the button to crouch. Wait, I don't know if you can crouch in this game. One sec. How do we... Can you crouch? Oh, I don't know. Um... Ah! Uh... Right. What? That just... Like with that, that just reset their rottenness. Oh wait, no, that did work. Oh look at all that marble melon. Let's go. All right, so half of that's going to be marble melon. Very nice. At least I got it to work. 
Um, and the other half. You know what? It can be feathered peppers, I reckon. So, uh, we need. What is going on? Ah! What is going on? What is what? What is going on? Uh, feed the pepper tree. Yeah. So two of those in there. That'll be fun. That's all good. Uh, over here we are gonna grab some shrub nuts. So we're gonna plant them over in this planter here. Uh, I'll wait till they grow, um, and then I'll add a fourth one in there. Uh, and then we're gonna grab the Preston's Delight, and I think all of these, probably. So... We're gonna add those two in. So there's Preston Plant. Uh, and then we'll add... probably... So we need three, six, nine, twelve. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, but that will do for now. Actually, I think if I was to do three, um, and then two, three, four, and then we're just to harvest all of these then, and then one, two, three, four. Then I'll harvest that once, twice, pick it up. Yeah, pick that one up. And then plant not that because I need that. So pick up you. But then use the thingies to do that. Uh, yeah, that would work out fine. And we've got the Preston plant wherever they are. So yeah. You can see those are starting to grow now. We've got a bunch of these starting to grow now. So clearly these must just water themselves then, basically. So that's perfectly fine. Now. Nuclear time. So what we're gonna do is gonna grab those. We're gonna have four reactor rods. Um, and what do I actually need for it? So we need a plastilinger. So I need to grab the lithium wherever that is. Not there. Not there. Not there. Where is it? Don't tell me everyone out of lithium. I swear I. Where? I swear I have tons of lithium somewhere. Not there, not there, not there, not there. Where is it? Is it in this one? Oh, yeah, it is. Okay, so we need two this time, not one. Uh, and then that is the Plastilinger. Uh, and then I'm pretty sure there was an advanced wiring kit uh, in there. Indeed, there was, and three lead. So we'll grab the lead now. So, one, two, three. Uh, now, I do know I have that. Uh, I do want to grab two of those now. Uh, I forgot what you need for the computer chip. Gold and a copper wire. Simple. Very, very simple. So I'm going to grab a copper wire from here since I do have some spare. And then one of my 16 pieces of gold. Very nice. Uh, and then computer chip. So that's the advanced wiring kit. There we go. Very nice. Uh, and then that is it, isn't it? Yeah, it is. So, um, sorry, bed, you're gonna have to go. Oh, this is this is a big moment now, with no frames apparently. Um, game. Can you give them back, or maybe if I remove that? Oh, it's a little bit. Oh, I just want to hold out the builder tool. It's just like I know your frames can die. Um, anyway. Nuclear reactor. What is the power capacity going to go up to now? So it's currently at 650, as you can see, and it's going to go up to 3,100. Oh my! Oh my! Okay. Right. Let's hope our base doesn't get attacked. I don't think it's actually possible to. Um. Wow. I've never had this before. This is cool. Processes nuclear rods. Wow, this is actually quite cool. Um, right, is there anything else I want to do inside the base? Like, to be honest, uh, not really. Um, a brute shark? Wait a minute. You're telling me that there was a brute shark egg in there? Whoa. Oh, there was as well. 
Oh, that's cool. Pick it up. I just have a brute shark in my inventory now. That's cool. And then obviously that's the side to such a seg, which I can't actually do much about. We've still got the creep vines just still growing. The red ore's still fully done. And the, obviously we have all of these still growing. They take a while. What about these? Oh, they're fine, really. Uh, I don't know if they're actually... Oh, no, they are growing. That's 66, 67. We've got obviously the fridge, um, and then the coffee machine, which I don't know if I'll ever use really. Um, but anyway, that's gonna wrap it up for now. Uh, I have a nuclear reactor in my base now, so that probably isn't gonna be the best thing in the future. But we, I have built this alien containment though, which is actually really, really good. Like I've got to say. And also, what is that light coming from? I don't know. But if you have enjoyed then please subscribe because why not? Like just just why not? Uh and then good bye, but where is that light coming from? Like there's literally no place where the light is coming from. Like nowhere.